okay here again um in this video we're looking at substitution um in substitution what happens is a number normally takes the place of a letter but before we can substitute we really need to find out what the meaning is of the various expressions that we normally have for example let us say we have an expression that says a b c this really means a times b times c what if we we see four x y this really mean four times x times y another thing what if we're looking at c square c square actually means c times c so the first thing we want to do is to be able to represent the meaning of the various expressions and then after that we'll do the substitution right, let us say we're looking at a system that says a is equal to 3 b is equal to 4 and c equal 2. And then what if we're asked to find the value of number 1, we want to find the value of a, b, c. One of the first things that we could do is simply represent the meaning of a, b, c. In algebra, we're looking at a times b times c. And then after we have written down what it means, then we're going to represent each number for its respective letters. For example, A is 3, so we have 3 times B, B is 4, times C, and as you see, C is 2. 4 times 3, 12 times 2, and we're looking at 24. All right, let's look at the numbers. We're still using those numbers. So what if, what if you have a, a case that says, okay, we're looking at 5a minus, say, 5a minus, say, 3c. What we want to do is to write down the meaning of this. So this is 5 times a minus 3 times c. Here it is. 5 times a, but a is 3, and 3 times c, c is 2. We're looking at 15 minus 6, and that's 9. So there it is, substitution. Um, we're really representing numbers for letters, but exercising the algebraic principles as we go along. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.